We managed to get Ja Morant out of the Mobile Madness promo and we will also hopefully be getting Hakeem Olajuwon by the end of this promo. I haven't really been playing it a huge amount. I've just been playing about 20 events every single day. I haven't been finding it too bad. But we're going to hop on into some gameplay as well as answer some of the questions that you guys left for me on both my Discord server and on my YouTube community page. I asked you guys for a couple of questions just so I can do a little bit of a Q&A because I felt I haven't really done one in a little while and why not double it up with some gameplay with this jam around. He's probably a lot of people's favorite of this promo over here except for that Grandmaster. We'll start off with a two and he manages to knock that one down. But the very first question we're going to answer is what do you use to record? What is your setup? So my setup over here is pretty much just my phone plus some like AKG earphones. I don't have a proper microphone or anything like that. I have thought about maybe buying a microphone, but I think I can get by with what I've got at the moment. So I'm pretty much just staying with what I've got with these AKG earphones over here. So I think they're good enough for what it is. Jam around knocking that deep three over there, but I think it's good enough. You know, I think at some point I might want to try and get a mic, maybe even trying to get a face cam as well, um, just to record some videos, make it look a little bit nicer with a better setup. But at the moment it is just my phone and these earphones over here, not a proper mic or anything like that. Jamarant for three, poor release this time, but he is going to knock that one down. He's starting off pretty well and he has been playing pretty decent for me so far, especially giving out that gold rebounding boost. It is pretty useful for the rest of my team. The next question over here is how tall are you? So I am about five foot nine, five foot ten ish, not the tallest person at all. I think it's about average height. The next question is do you play basketball in real life? So I do play basketball. I don't really play it like at competitively. I don't play for a team or anything. I play a little bit for school. Um, what a block by LeBron over there. Um, I play it sometimes i go down to the park play a little bit of basketball but obviously basketball here in the uk is a lot different to american basketball like the standards especially the school standards are a lot different like i say the standards here compared to america are a lot different they're not as good um obviously like school we just take it for a little bit of fun when i'm playing with my mates as well i'm just taking it for a bit of fun jam run over there with a still and he gets that dunk off at the very end over there. Dunking is at a 97, which is pretty good. We didn't run through his stats. Maybe we do that at the end, but his stats are pretty nice with what they've got going for him. The next question is, what sports do you play and which one are you best at? Obviously, I've just said I do play some basketball here and there. I also play a bit of football. I used to play it for a team and I used to like play it quite a lot because that's normally the sport a lot of people in the UK play. Um, so I used to play that quite a lot. I've sort of stopped playing it as much. I still play it a little bit here and there with mates. I come up for a kickabout um, here and there. Jam run again with an another still and he is going to finish that dunk off but then the main one that i'm probably say i'm best at is athletics like i run um obviously doing some track running here and there 800 is probably my best distance but i'd say probably that is my best sport out of the three of them i'd say athletics is definitely my best sport out of the three of them jam around buzzer beater three and he's going to splash that one 20 points in the first quarter and i've been answering questions i haven't been fully concentrating on the game that is not too bad at all um especially coming off the bat of us doing a 100 point challenge where we knocked 30 points in the first quarter if you haven't checked that out make sure you go check that video out it's just absolutely insane so the next question is what is your favorite type of music slash song but honestly i really listen to a like a load of stuff like a huge variety of different kind of music i think at the moment i'm listening to a lot more rap than anything else but favorite song i don't really have a main favorite like if varies time to time like at the moment i think i've got mainly one song on repeat and i don't really know how to say it. it's called yosho i think hopefully i'm saying that right by lavish k it's not really a well-known song and it's because it's basically just giving me those really good summer vibes like you guys should go listen to it it's giving me those summer vibes and the weather's been good recently i know it's gonna get a little bit colder where i am um but obviously it's just giving me those summer vibes and i just can't wait for summer so yeah that's mainly the song that i'm listening to right at the moment Next question is, what country do you live in? I know you might have picked that one up already, and it is the UK. I live here in Britain, in England. Uh, the next question is, when are you going to do a face reveal? Now, obviously, I know a lot of you really want me to do a face reveal. And honestly, right now, Jammer, right? Coming through with that nasty dunk over there. Um, but right now, I think if I got a proper setup, I would maybe do a face reveal. I think I would, but it's getting a proper setup, getting a face cam, all of that stuff. When I do a face reveal, I want it to be like proper and I want to be able to use like a face cam in my videos after I've done a face reveal, if that kind of makes sense. I don't want to just show like a random photo of me or anything like that and then never actually show my face on like when I'm doing videos and stuff like that. So I do kind of want to do it properly and actually be able to record my face and do a proper face cam and all of that stuff 
when I'm recording the videos. But at the moment, that is not the case. I can't do that with the type of setup I've got. Maybe later this year, I might be able to do something uh, where I can do like a face cam and do a, have a proper setup and all of that stuff. But I just need that and I need a little bit of time. But once I've got that sorted, then I will probably do a face reveal because other than that, there is nothing really stopping me from doing a face reveal. I probably will do it then. So make sure you stay tuned and maybe you wait until the end of the year where I might be able to do a little bit of a face reveal and then go on to use my face in videos and have a face cam and all of that stuff. So that's hopefully something I can try and work towards getting done and getting set up so I can actually use that in the video because it is something that I want to do in the future. The next question is, what is your favorite season of NBA Live Mobile? And this is without a doubt is season one. Season one is definitely the best season we've ever had of NBA Live Mobile in my opinion. Obviously you guys, depending on whether you actually played season one or not, are gonna have different opinions. And even some people who played season one, although I don't think there are very many people at all who would say that season one was a lot worse than any other season. Season one was just absolutely nuts. We had absolutely crazy promos. We had great packs. Everyone was getting involved. It was the first season. So of course the hype is gonna be really good. You had a bunch of YouTubers. YouTube is hitting nearly 100K subs. It was just absolutely crazy. You had a great variety of different YouTubers all posting about NBA Live Mobile, all posting different stuff as well. You had sniping because it was player to player auction house. It was just an absolutely crazy fun time. But season one is definitely my favorite. And I think a lot of people's favorite season of NBA Live Mobile. I know a lot of people who didn't play that though, um, because a lot of people maybe started in season three, season two, season four, all of that stuff. So if you didn't play season one, honestly, you missed out on an absolutely amazing season. And it is probably the best season that we have ever had on NBA Live Mobile. I don't think it'll ever be topped unless EA do something absolutely crazy with the game, which I don't see happening right now. But yeah, that's my answer to that question. The next one is who is better, Ronaldo? or Messi. Now, I'm going to have to say I'm team Messi. Like, I know Ronaldo is an absolute beast. He's kind of like LeBron um, in the NBA at the moment. He's just absolutely crazy. But I have to give it to Messi. Like, watching him play is just absolutely amazing. Like, looking at him play, looking at the skills he does, how he just dribbles around players, and the finishing and the shooting, everything about his game is so much fun to watch. And if you're going to sit down and watch, say, a 10-minute highlight reel of either Ronaldo or Messi, I'm picking Messi because Messi, just to watch his play, is so beautiful just to watch all the skills and how he like plays is just so much fun to watch. So I'm going to have to say Team Messi. I know a lot more people probably say Ronaldo over Messi. I know I get it because Ronaldo is like a more well-known, more like well-rounded player, but I'm going to have to say Messi. Just watching him play is so much better than Ronaldo, in my opinion, just watching the skills and all of that stuff. The next question over here is what is your favorite card in NBA Live Mobile that we've had this season? And I have to say um, it would be Dennis Schroeder if they hadn't fixed him because Dennis Schroeder when he was two foot two it was so much fun to play through but I'm not counting that one I'm going to judge this out of right now what my favorite card is and at the moment I'm going to have to say it is Tim Duncan from the front court or back court promo I'm guessing a lot of people would not have put that down as my favorite card maybe that's not even your favorite card but just because his dunks are really nice and he has really grown on me the more I've actually used him in the game it is pretty good obviously you've got Steph Curry at all-star card who was pretty decent you've got LeBron James who I grinded quite a bit for and you've got Devin Booker from the live pass but I'm going to have to say this Tim Duncan because his dunks are just absolutely nuts. I was just going to go in for a dunk over there, but I didn't manage to get into it. Um, but yeah, his dunks are absolutely nuts. I'm going to have to say him. He's not the quickest up the court or down the court. He's not the best three point shooter, but those dunks are just really nice. And of course, getting those rebounds and then doing the dunk after that is just absolutely crazy. When he pops a windmill, it's so much fun to see. So I'm going to have to say him for my favorite card this season so far. The next question is, why has your voice changed so much over time? Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. Obviously, I've got a little bit more confident talking um, when I'm doing the videos, all of that stuff. Obviously, the way I've been recording as well has been different. I used to be like sitting down and recording, whereas now I'm sort of standing up and recording. So that's changed a little bit. But I think the main factor is just me being a little bit more confident in how I'm talking and how I'm presenting my voice as well. Because it is a lot of trying to work out how you can actually do this and doing YouTube. Like YouTube isn't just as simple as sitting down and just recording yourself play a game. It is a lot of effort trying to to work out what works what doesn't work the thumbnail the editing and how you can present yourself as well so i try to improve as much as i can in fact i'm still improving and still trying to improve and trying to learn new ways of doing things um so yeah the voice is one of them i try to record it and get the audio quality as best as i can out of these earphones obviously they're still earphones they're not a proper microphone which i probably would be able to get better audio quality out of but i've just been trying to like be a bit more confident over time um, throughout my whole YouTube career as it were and trying to improve that and I think you can see it like, if you go back to my voice reveal as it were that video and comment down below what you thought my voice would actually sound like subscribe if you're new to the channel and yeah see you guys in the next video 
you could definitely tell the difference in my voice and how it's changed. Obviously, some of that's a bit of age and all of that stuff, getting a bit older. But I think the main reason is me just becoming a little bit more confident and changing how I'm recording and how my setup is instead of sitting down, standing up. So the next question is, what football team do you support? I, of course, support Liverpool. Um, we're doing pretty well at the moment. Hopefully, we can win the quadruple. A lot of people think it could be on. I think it might be on. We have definitely have the team for it. It just depends on how tired everyone gets because we are going to have an absolute ridiculous amount of fixtures coming up, lined up for all of the competitions that we're still in at the moment. Like We've won the Carabao Cup. We still got the FA Cup. We still got the Premier League, which I think the game against Man City is probably going to decide who actually wins the Premier League. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see. Obviously, it's going to be an absolutely amazing game to watch. Hopefully, Liverpool can come through and get the win and then maybe go on to win the Premier League and the other trophies as well and hopefully get the quadruple. Let's end off this. I was going to say, let's end off the game with a buzzer beater three, but Jamarant got blocked over there. I think that was by Giannis, but we win the game pretty comfortably, 65 to 23. I think we have time for just one more question, which is going to be, if you could bring back one feature to NBA Live Mobile, what would it be and why? So I'm guessing this is meaning um, any feature that we have had previously, not one that is just completely brand new what feature would i bring back to nba live mobile there's a lot like the auction house being player to player maybe coin packed maybe insane promos i don't really count promos as being a feature but i'm gonna have to say probably the coin packs just because they're so much fun to open yes the player to player auction house would be good the overall cap as well a lot of people don't look at that that's one thing that i would wish we had back an overall cap of 99 um but i'd have to say the coin packs because it'd be so much fun to open through some coin packs here and there to go through have youtubers opening packs as well we don't see that too often obviously you've got ilogix um who's been posting like a couple of videos here and there he does some pack openings because he's a game changer so he has the resources to open those packs and make them fun but if we could have coin packs it'd be so much fun to not just people on youtube but also lots of people in the game because you got coins you can get them for free instead of nba cash where you have to spend money or actual money packs i think coin packs would be an absolutely amazing thing if they could bring that back and not just any coin packs like good coin packs that we could have in the game so that is the feature that i would bring back to nba live mobile but yeah that is going to be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy the little bit of q a it was sort of a more chilled video hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay with this Jamarant card. He's an absolute beast. Um, hopefully, I will be able to get France Wagner by the end of the day. As I said, I haven't been playing a major amount. I know a bunch of you guys have been banging out this promo and getting an absolute ton of cards. A couple of people free to play have already got that Hakeem Elijah one. So hopefully, I can get him by the end of the promo. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.